Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Video of Derek Jackson's wife breaking down on camera has been going viral on social media platforms. While Derek Jackson has been out here enjoying his best life, as seen in his photographs, um, his wife has been facing the bitter reality of destruction of her marriage. This is some pretty sad stuff, man. I have to warn you guys. Um, there's a video that she posted, and then we're going to read the caption that came along with it. Said some pretty, you're going to want to hear it for yourself. But before we get into that, let's check out this video. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Okay, so she's on his, um, it looks like on his YouTube page there. So this is a video about Derek Jackson, right? And um, it says, he will not leave you or forsake you, Hebrews 13, 5. Hold on. Did that say, Dear Holy Spirit, I hate his stinking guts? Wow. So, um, she used that verse, He will never leave you and forsake you, in reference to Derek Jackson. And then she's kind of trying to tell a story here. And in her notebook, she wrote, Dear Holy Spirit, I hate his stinking guts. So, I'm assuming this is talking about Derek Jackson. Let's keep watching. I should say this, guys, there is music playing here that you guys can't hear because I'll get a copyright for it. Um, so it, it's an extra awkward with, uh, of course, the music we have playing, but let's keep watching. So she just threw down the photo of her and Derek Jackson there to the floor. By the way, if you're wondering, Shisha, why are you reacting to this? This is a public video. You can go search this. It's on her Instagram. It's public. She wanted everybody to see this. And here she is kind of like breaking down and crying. All right. So here's, here's the thing that's going through my mind right now. Two things are going through my mind. Obviously, I, I actually do feel bad for this woman. I do. I do. There's also this other side of me of, why put it online? Maybe a cry for help. Maybe a cry for help. I don't know. But why put it online? Right? I wish she had a different way of dealing with this than wanting everybody to see this. But... It is what it is. Maybe this is what she wants and she kind of wants to get the word out there. And you know what? Maybe, maybe in a way it's like, you know, Derek has always controlled the narrative. I'm assuming he always has of like, don't post this, don't post that. And she's finally showing you the reality of the situation is if they were together, she would not be able to post this, right? Her crying, her basically being honest. And this is her speaking her truth. If you saw me smile a little bit, guys, it's just because whenever people get on camera and they put in the camera there and they cry, don't mistake me as me being insensitive because I actually do feel bad for this chick. Um, I'm probably going to upset you guys a little bit more here about what I have to say about this situation. But overall, I wish this woman the best. Right? I wish this woman the best. I saw a couple of comments about this that I'm going to read later on, but I wanted to start out with this first Thing I kept on seeing, which was she did what she was supposed to do as a woman, which is get married, right? And stick with her husband. And I saw this a bunch of times and she did not deserve this. And I agree with that. 
I agree with the fact that she stuck with her husband and did what most women wouldn't do, which is stick with their husband long term through thick and thin. And I agree with that. I agree with the fact that she stuck with the husband and did what she could humanly possibly do to make this very dysfunctional marriage work. But in, while people say that, I don't want something to get missed in this whole situation is that she did marry a hypocrite. And I'm not saying that's her fault at all because people do change, right? As he got more popular and more famous, he probably started to lean towards um, female empowering messages versus coffee. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Versus the reality of telling women what they need to make relationships and marriage work, right? He became delusional. Maybe he knew what he was doing. He probably did because he's not a dumb person. He's a salesman and he's selling women Kool-Aid and they started to buy it. And she probably didn't see that coming, right? And so why I have to say that is because women, and I've done a video about this because I've heard this before, will say, well, why should we even try? If you look at a woman like this, she did everything that she was supposed to do for that man, but instead he still treated her like trash. The difference is this man here is an absolute hypocrite. We can't gloss over the fact that Derek Jackson couldn't possibly have been healthy in his relationship in the way that he interacted with his wife, carried things out when he was so hypocritical on screen. You can't separate those two things, right? And then on top of that, add money, add fame, add access to thousands and thousands of women because that's what he did is that he um, counseled thousands of women, millions even, to their own demise and distraction. You can't gloss over that very, very huge factor in this situation because again women will use this as well, why should we even try look at look at her she was the perfect wife no 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 no. there's one very very problematic factor in this whole situation which was Derek Jackson and his hypocritical mindset and here's where things are going to get a little bit controversial and some of you um aren't going to like what I have to say I think there needs to be a real conversation had when it comes to what women should expect when it comes to a relationship with high caliber man i want you for a second if you can remove your emotions out of this conversation take out the hypocrisy of derrick jackson right what, what why why you don't like him why you may disagree with him and just think about what he brings to the table in in um terms of like the dating market right the dating market has no emotions or feelings we're talking about just straight economic status here we're talking about the attributes he has physically over six foot very much in shape and his ability to use his mouthpiece to see deceive and scam and talk to women the man's a millionaire highly successful who spent years working very closely with single post wall women majority of them happen to be black for years Think about that for a second. If you're a woman and you meet a man like that and you see that and you see the trajectory of his life, you see he's only getting more popular, there are some things you need to prepare for. Even if Derek Jackson was otherwise giving a message that wasn't hypocritical, that man is still at a higher risk of stepping out of a marriage. What, am, what do I mean? Where am I getting at with all this? When it comes to dealing with men of a certain status, a lot of women today need to face the truth possibility that they're going to deal with some things that they otherwise wouldn't if they weren't with such a high earner, a man with that much fame, a man who's that much exposed. And guys, here I'm talking about like the whole cheating thing, right? There are men with more um, character, integrity than Derek Jackson who have stepped out of their marriage. One of them that I remember right off the top of my head is Martin Luther King. I remember those when those women on that one podcast with B. Simone said, oh, Martin Luther King, he's not a great man because he cheated on his wife. And I was like, really? And then you might think, well, any man who steps out isn't a great man. They're immediately um, terrible, bad. Well, my response to that would be, well, if the FBI spent money trying to dig up things from your past like they did Martin Luther King, then they might find some things that may make, that may cause people to um, say that your mistakes overshadow your achievements. In this situation with Derek Jackson, of course, not only was he stepping out and cheating, he's also a hypocrite, right? But here's the problem is that a lot of women want the Derek Jackson when it comes to what he can provide. Here again, I'm going back to just 
resources, status. They're not willing to accept because they know this stuff. They're not willing to accept that that type of man comes with a certain level of challenges, might come with a certain level of challenges and risks. My question would be like, after you, you see what some of these women who are with these top level men are going through, I would ask like, do you really want a man with millions of dollars who travels the world and has to fend off women throwing themselves at him left and right and please don't get me wrong here man please get out your feelings i'm not saying Derek jackson was right for what he did i am however saying that the chances of something happening when you are certain status you're gonna face a different type of challenges just because of that where that man is at and on top of this you add religion to it and the thing with religion is when you claim to be holier than thou and led by some moral campus and those same people are the biggest hypocrites you will ever meet in your life. That type of pain hits differently. Because again, what do we tell women? We tell them like, hey, you, you deserve the world. You deserve to have everything that you want. You deserve to have this top percent man. And he's going to be loyal to you. Nah, you guys hate it when I say this. But you're probably going to go through some shit. Especially if he's a dating coach who deals with single, desperate women. And on top of that, let's add in the factor that we took out. A hypocrite who lies on camera for a living. You're going to go through some shit. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. And, and guys, people say, well, why even, why even bringing that up? Men should never cheat. I'm not saying they should. Again, guys, I deal with the reality. This is the same argument. This is the same as saying, well, um, we need to talk about how women can wear whatever they want. Men shouldn't assume that just because a woman's half naked that she's asking for it i say yeah that is true but there's that element of a man's nature and some men lack self-control listen to me i'm getting somewhere here and all i'm saying is if women like Derek jackson's wife were told the truth about the risks of dating men of a certain status they could at least mentally prepare it's kind of like that whole thing of well what do you do now that you are peer aware right now that you are peer aware if when a woman cheats on you, you won't want to go jump off a building. You won't want to go um, uh, 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 d give up on life. Why? Because as, as sad as it may be to accept that reality, at least when the blow comes, you at least can prepare for it. You can at least say, yeah, this isn't like a fairy tale, right? I assure you that after he did what he did, he would go back to her and say, I'm never going to do it again. And people would say, don't worry, it's eventually going to work out. Or, or what other women are told is there's this man of high status making millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars taking care of you. He's amazing. Uh, multiple women want him, but he's going to be yours. And you will never have to deal with um, challenges of him maybe stepping out once in a while. Again, not justifying it, but it's a very real reality. Are there men out there of high status who don't cheat? Yes, they exist. But I think for a lot of women, if they would accept the challenges and realize the challenges they would go through dealing with a certain status, certain caliber of man, they wouldn't all want that for themselves. I'd be like, you know what? I think I would go down in economic expectation and attractiveness for less problems in my marriage. Now. On top of all this, the man's a hypocrite. In this incident with Derek Jackson's wife, we're seeing the results of public shaming, hypocrisy, and a pattern of a cheater who has shown no real remorse. Listen, it would be one thing if Derek Jackson messed up one time and um, his wife forgave him, stuck with him, and he went on an apology tour and said, listen, I'm wrong. You, it's not always the man's fault, guys. But no, instead, he's doubled down not only on his message, but also has finalized the destruction of his own marriage. And for that, this man is a true menace to society. And I truly, truly feel bad for his wife. I do. I do. And I hope she finds the healing and peace that she's seeking after this very, very difficult experience. I truly do. So guys, real quick, I want to read this caption that was underneath that video that we just watched. It says, when the man you love and have kids with destroys your soul with reckless decision making, you must choose to be alone with God. I'm assuming that says, when your heart has been shattered and reshaped into something that doesn't quite feel normal inside your chest with mental, emotional, and soul pain that is unbearable, there is only one man who can fix it, and that is the Holy Spirit. She goes on to say, when you are suffering so much that each next breath seems 
excruciating and you don't know how you can live without the man while at the same time being angry with that man because he has crushed your spirit due to his unconscious eggplant. You have made an idol of that man, husband or not. If you have heard God hates divorce and using that for strength to work it out with the man who continuously chooses, you have made an idol of that man. You are people pleasing and you're out of order in the sight of God. Marriage or not, and this requires repentance and renunciation. One thing God hates more than divorce is a woman with a destroyed soul idolizing a man who does not have power to destroy her soul and body in hellfire. Matthew 10, 28. Um, goes on here, it says, Intimacy with the Holy Spirit is how you survive and become genuinely healed from the inside out. There is no other way. It is easy to assume God is doing nothing when you're dealing with trauma and betrayal and the truth is god is not doing anything if you have not given him anything to do healing is a two-way street where you must exchange your brokenness hurt and pain and trauma for healing provided by his stripes i've mastered the art of healing god's way because i've developed a personal intimate relationship with him meeting with him multiple times a day. I've learned that he's made strong in weakness and it takes him a non-second to heal that natural world therapy would take years to manage with side effects known as triggers. When God comes to heal, he heals completely. There are no side effects and triggers are disarmed and powerless by his power. My secret to surviving public mockery, scrutiny, scandal, betrayal, and dishonor is surrendering to the Lord. Are you ready to go through the process of becoming whole again? In parentheses, not rhetorical. Um, so that was the caption that went with that post. <sighs> yep. Listen, guys, that's it. I don't have any comments for this video. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Like I said, I wish, I wish this woman the best overall going forward. I hope she finds healing. I hope she finds peace. And watch how women continue to support Derek jackson going forward crazy crazy stuff till next time guys i'm out peace